Hello everyone, welcome back. This time I wanted to show you the new debugger present in version 1.3 of GameMaker Studio. And well, the first thing you'll need to do in order to use it is to enable it because it's disabled by default. So in order to use it, go to File, Preferences and in the scripts and code tab at the end you will find this checks box use the new debugger so now we can start to, to use the new GameMaker Studio debugger okay so now I am going to run the game in debug mode and you will see that the debug window is going to appear in the screen and in other screen obviously our game let's wait and here we have it this is the window of the new game maker studio debugger and i'm basically i'm going to show you how this works first here you can see this uh a few windows watches globals locals call stack you can customize these windows as you want you can see here all the different windows instance output all instance buffer and the most important important feature is really the use of breakpoints for for first time we have breakpoints in game maker okay um, as you can see here i'm running my game i'm running my game in the back mode and the execution stopped here in this line of code why well because i set a breakpoint here you can see this big red dot this is a breakpoint and the as i said the execution has stopped and now i can watch all the values inside these variables and see if something is going wrong of this is a, um, a, a good way to detect bugs or anomalies inside your code once you stopped the execution of your program now you can uh, execute line by line and you can watch how all the values of your variables are being modified in real time and this is basically the difference between debugging in the old way without a true debugger and debugging with a real debugger like this it makes a whole difference i have stopped the execution of my program here at this breakpoint and now i can click in the step in and see how my game is being executed by line by line for example here in this if as you can see this if is going to jump to this line to the following line only if jump if the absolute value of jump delta is greater than one and i can ever evaluate that single line of code myself as you can see here chum delta and as you can see the value is zero so this if is going to chum to this line and well let's see it let's click uh, let's click in step in and as expected <laughs> it jumped to this line looking at, at the content of an array is something that is uh, really difficult without a debugger a debugger like this really and as you can see i can see without any problem i can see the values here there i can see the the value of every array so well as you can see this is a very uh, important tool uh, in my opinion this is probably one of the most 
powerful tools you will find in the new version of KingMaker Studio. Here I can see my game running, I can walk, I, I can jump, but let's say that I want to slow down my game in order to find uh, some bugs uh, or some weird behavior. Well, I can pause the game and set room speed to uh, now is 60 frames per, per seconds. Now I'm going to change it to 5 frames per second in order to slow it down. And now play again and here you can see my game running at 5 frames per second and now I can see how the animation performs in detail in order to find uh, bugs or some weird or unexpected behaviors okay basically I wanted to show you I wanted to make an overview of this new uh, game maker studio debugger I hope you find this video useful and as always I hope to see you in my upcoming video tutorials and don't forget to check out my forum remember the game maker guide .ga. okay see you bye